It's a legendary part of popular culture. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be filling you in on everything you should know about Tron. Where am I? I'm gonna make you play video games. Okay, no sweat. I play video games better than anybody. Since its release in 1982, Tron has become an influential part of pop culture and changed the way movies are made. It was the first feature film to use computer-generated graphics and took place within the cyber world long before we started using modern computers or the internet. The story of Tron is centered on a gifted young NCOM software engineer named Kevin Flynn, played by Jeff Bridges, who aspires to create his own software company. As the story begins, we learn that Flynn has created his own series of cutting-edge games. However, another programmer named Dillinger steals his work and passes it off as his own, earning himself a huge promotion. And thus begins his meteoric rise to what is he now, executive VP? Senior exec. As a result, Flynn fled the company to open his own arcade and dedicate his time to hacking into their mainframe computer to find evidence of the theft. However, Dillinger's supercomputer, Master Control Program, stops his every attempt. Flynn decides to enlist the help of his programmer friends Laura and her boyfriend Alan to help him break into NCOM to shut down the Master Control Program. His plan is to use a security program named Tron. It's a security program itself, actually. It monitors all contacts between our system and other systems. Finds anything going on that's not scheduled, it shuts it down. In response, the Master Control uses a matter transmission laser to convert Flynn into data, pulling him into the world within the computer. There, he discovers an electronic reality that is ruled by the Master Control program and his evil henchmen, who have been created in the image of the NCOM staff. That's right, he pushed me in the real world. Somebody pushes me, I push back, so I brought him down here. Even more diabolical is the Master Control's plan to break into the Pentagon and assert its authority over the world's most powerful military weapons. What do you want with the Pentagon? The same thing I want with the Kremlin. I'm bored with corporations. Forced to play games that will eventually lead to his death, Flynn encounters a humanoid version of Tron, who is both heroic and fearless. Who's that guy? That's Tron. He fights for the users. And in the process, Flynn learns that as a real-world user, he possesses godlike powers. Eventually finding a way out of the games, they destroy the evil software and liberate the system from its control. Returning to the real world, Flynn discovers the evidence he needs and uses it to become the CEO of the corporation. While the adventure was dazzling for its time, its sequel, Tron Legacy, which is set 28 years after the events of the first film, is centered on Kevin's son Sam. Haunted by his father's disappearance two decades earlier, he investigates a message sent to him from Flynn's abandoned arcade. There, he discovers his father's hidden research and is pulled into cyberspace. Once digitized, he reunites with his dad, who's become trapped in a much more advanced computer system. Together, the pair must embark on a deadly journey across an incredibly massive digital universe. Combating new challenges and facing awe-inspiring technological creations, they must stop a ruthless duplicate of Kevin called Clue 2. Originally created as a hacking program, it now has its own plans for amassing unstoppable power. You want, okay? It's just a game! Not anymore.